We begin at 5 o'clock with an upgrade in technology now causing serious problems for Houston firefighters. Thanks for joining us. I'm Bill Baessa. And I'm Lauren Freeman. The issue involves the radios that firefighters use to communicate. Channel 2's Phil Archer is live in North Houston with more on the story now. Phil? You know, when firefighters go into a burning building, their lifeline are their radios. Now, they can access those radios either through a microphone in their face mask or by a lapel mic. But when the department rolled out its new accessories for its new radio system last month, they immediately ran into problems. On July 28th, firefighters at stations 26 and 31 began using the new handheld radios, but they quickly discovered their attempts to communicate with each other were unreadable. The same day, the department sent out an alert to all fire stations ordering, quote, until the issue can be corrected, all members are to immediately discontinue using the lapel microphones and in mass communication devices. The problem was evident two days later when the department tested the new radios. Here's what it sounded like. Fire 31, you're unreadable. Uh, a radio must work properly, and if a call for help from a citizen or a firefighter cannot get across, uh, they can have devastating consequences. It's a sensitive subject. Faulty radios played a big part in the Houston Fire Department's worst day. May 31st, 2013, the Southwest End Fire that killed five firefighters. They lost contact with the others because their radios failed. And if this is a new system and a new radio that is being implemented, we do not want a repeat of losing one of our firefighters because of radio issues. We have lost too many of our brothers and sisters. The department began testing today in all of the city's fire districts to try to identify and correct the radio problem. And until that's sorted out, firefighters are being told to use their handheld radios without the accessories. Chief Rodney West with the fire department told me just a little while ago that the department believes the radios are sound. It's just that the accessories are new technology and they're trying to work the bugs out of those with the help of the vendor. Reporting live in North Houston, I'm Phil Archer, KPRC Channel 2 News.